I have always been the greatest fan of Montessori math. She takes the most abstract of topics and makes it into a concrete experience for children, thereby giving them that feeling of success and achievement in an area where a lot of people struggle. I struggled with math growing up. I know many of you watching have felt the same way, but Montessori math solves all those problems and makes it so easy, it just blows your mind away. So what I'm going to be showing you today with my niece, Anna, is how to do addition and subtraction with the simple material of the short bead stair. Now I'll just show you this short bead stair over here. It's very common. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this, have used it, have worked with it before. We have uh, nine bead bars from the numbers one to number nine, and the child builds it into stairs, and we use this to do addition and subtraction. Now, this material is really easy to make. If you have access to beads, then you can use any kind. You can use wooden beads, you can use plastic beads, you can use glass beads. I've seen all kinds of beads being used in different parts of the world. You can make it something that's traditional and, you know, that comes from your country. That's even more beautiful. But you must keep in mind that the colors must remain constant, all right? Number one must always be red, number two must always be green, and so on. As time goes along, the more children use this material, those colors get memorized in their mind. They will remember that number one is red, and so when they read a sum that says one plus five, immediately, without counting, they know they have to reach for which beads they have to reach. Um, we go on to use the same material for multiplication, which I promise to come back and show you because it's amazing. And you will see how helpful it is for them when they have learned those, those colors and uh, corresponding numbers. Hi, Anna. Hi. So today I want to do some math with you, okay? And I want to ask you if you can build these beads into a stair for me. You've done it before, right? Yes. Yeah? Do you know how or do you need help? I know how. Okay, so let's build it into a stair over here, okay? Okay. okay. You want them to touch, okay? I have one more set. I'm going to ask you to make one more stair over here, okay? Okay, should we make it a little neat so it looks like a triangle? Can you do yours? Okay, I'm going to make this straight. Now, I have this sum card here and we are going to solve these sums, okay? Let's use this one first, okay? Can you read this with me? Five, five plus three is equal to? What number is this? Five. Okay, can you take number how, five from how here? How old I am. Oh, okay. And let's put it here. And can you take number three from here? and put it beside each other. Now, can you count and tell me how many there are all together? Let's count. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you put your answer in the box? Okay, now let's put these back. Okay, let's read this one. Two, two Plus seven, seven is equal, equal to. Can you bring number two from, from here? And bring it down here. And how about number seven? seven. Can you bring it from here? From this set? Can you count them one, all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could you write your answer in the box? Okay. 
Okay, can we put these back? And we have one more to go. Four plus two equals six. Can we read four it? Four plus two equals six. Can you please bring number four from here? I already know it equals six. That's and number two from here. Mm. Let's put it beside each other. I Can you count for me though? Let's count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I you know. record your answer here? Can you record it? Ready, no six. Okay, so now we have this answer card and we're going to check our work and see if everything's correct, okay? Let's read. Five. Five plus three equals eight. Five, Five plus three equals eight. Two plus seven equals nine. Two plus seven equals nine. Four plus two equals six. Four plus two equals Six. Is it all correct? Yes. Okay, so anytime you want to do this again, it's kept on the shelf and I have a lot more sum cards that you can take and use. Okay? okay. Could you help me to tidy up please? So we want to build a short beat stair and we're going to do some subtraction. Do you remember how to build this into a stair? Yeah. Okay, could you build it? Yes. Right over here. Okay, there you go. These look like my beads at home. Yeah. One, two, eight, nine. Okay, thank you. Now, I have this sum card and we're going to read together, okay? Five equals... Minus... Minus two... Is equal to... Equal... Can you bring number five and place it over here? Right. Now, how many do we have to take away? Look here. We have to take away 11. What number is this? Two. Two. Okay. So let's put that back. I'm going to show you how we do it. We're going to count from behind and cover two beads. Can you count with me? One, One. two. And I'm going to cover them. Now, I want you to count how many are left. Can you count for me? Three, two. Can you count? Let's count together. One, One, two, three. Okay. Can you write your answer in the box? I do my class. Okay. Can you put this back? Can you put this back? All right. Can you read this one? Seven. Minus two equal. Can you bring number seven and place it here? Seven and take away two. So can you count from the back and cover two? Now how many do you have left? One, two, three, four, five. Can you write your answer in the box? Okay, and let's read the last one. Four minus two equals... Can you bring number four? Number four? And how many do we have to take away? Okay, can you count how many you have left? Two. Okay, can you record your answer? Yes. All right, so let's put this back and I want us to check our work and make sure everything's correct, okay? Two, five. Five minus two equals three. Five. Five minus equal, uh, two minus three. Two. two equal two. All correct? Yes. Okay, so whenever you want to take this, there are a lot more sum cards and you know how to do it all by yourself, right? You don't need anybody's help. So could you help me to tidy up now? Thank you. Please, Please subscribe like this, this video, video and, and subscribe, subscribe to, our to our channel. Did you enjoy those presentations? If you did, hit the like button right now so that I can keep making more videos like this for you. Now, uh, I want to bring your attention to the control card. 
All right. At the end of it, you can see that we provide the children with an answer card for which they can check their work. Now, this is something I think that is fantastic. If you remember going to school and doing any work, and we would give it, we, we didn't know whether we were right or whether we were wrong until we handed it in to our teacher. And then our teacher would look at it and either she would mark an X or she would mark a tick and we'd have to accept that without any real understanding. Now in this case, the child has the independence, she checks her work and if she's made a mistake, she goes back and she can redo it. And through the beads, she learns that, okay, this is where my mistake lies. And I've talked about this before. When a child is able to realize their own mistake, that is when true learning happens. I've got a video on the control of error, which I'm going to link here. If you haven't already watched it and you haven't understood about the control of error, please do watch it. It will really open your eyes. So once I've introduced this material to the child one time, then I would leave a bunch of some cards for them with the control cards so that they can do this independently and check their work as well independently. The beauty of this material is that the child can feel, they can see the increase in quantity, they see two quantities for addition coming together and forming a bigger quantity. With subtraction, they see how it reduces. So it becomes a very uh, concrete experience for them. It's something that they are going through rather than just trying to hear the teacher tell them something rather than just using their fingers. They are experiencing addition and subtraction the operations now of course they don't stick to this we keep progressing we move towards the goal is to move towards um, taking them to abstraction whereby they are not using any tools and also of course to develop speed and in you know materials that come up that I will show you you will see how beautifully children will develop that memory and that speed and they will be able to move away from using concrete items step by step we will get there I'm gonna take you there I promise hold my hand stay with me keep coming back and we're going to learn and grow in the Montessori world together so don't forget to subscribe and until we meet again have a beautiful day